senior night here at the high school. Five seniors getting the start. Mosai Daniel taking the tip. Your lineup on the floor, Chaz Bell, Eliza Jones, Mosai Daniel, Damian Blythe, and Bryce Butler. We'll talk at length about Bryce tonight, about what he's accomplished to, as a Cougar in his one year here. Tip goes, North College Hill, and right off the bat, they're fast, get a transition bucket, two nothing. This team can score, but last time we've met, it was a close game early on, but they pulled away. Only held these Trojans to 35% shooting as we're going to get a block. It looks like a legal screen caught on Damian Blythe. Blythe, a senior, who has done some good things this season, even in a starting role near the holiday tournament Really showed Coach Parker what he could do on the boards. So, not a good start for the Cougars, losing the tip. Quick points and then a turnover. Long three, near wing, good. Made by Jawan Lindsay. Jawan took a year off basketball to play some football for the Trojans. Now back this season. Missed him and looks like a blocking foul. Be caught on Zach Wadi. Nice entrance pass to Mosai. Mosai can't convert. He's got to convert. Looking at Melvade to get it again. Lindsay knocks it away. Butler wants to reset, but taken away and stripped by Kenny Thompson. Now his brother Cameron driving the lane, kicks it back out. Three at the top of the key, swish, and the Trojans are out to an eight nothing lead. Cougars yet to score. We're not even two minutes in. Man defense played by the Trojans. Chaz Bell is gonna be called for a traveling. Probably could have got him on a carry as well. Entering the game, someone who has been a bright spot, as mentioned in the coach's corner, if you've tuned into that on our YouTube page and on the cube. It's the Shanti Hawkins, the freshman. He's played a key role in ball handling and defense this season. You look at his intensity, I liked how he's being aware of where everyone is on the court. As he is, we're in a 2-3 defense, 2-3 zone. Mosai trying to strip it, gets it, taps it to Shanti. But Butler up at top, and Bryce converting for the first couple of points. You can see the tenacious defense just on the transition bucket. The Cougars are going to have to be on their P's and Q's. Long three off the mark by Thompson. Wadi gets the rebound and puts it back in. And I have a whistle by the official. Not sure what this is. So there's a warning on the Trojans for delaying the game. They tap the ball out of bounds and not letting the Cougars get direct possession. So a 10-2 early deficit for the Cougars trying to come back with some intensity on the offensive end. North College Hill, the leader in the Miami Valley Conference at a 17-3 record, just came off a couple games ago against New Miami scoring 100. Bryce driving baseline, no good. Damian couldn't get the rebound. And up the four quickly is Packer who kicks it out to Lindsay and Lindsay is perfect from three. 13-2 lead. A whistle by the official, I think, was saying something to Shanti Hawkins about inbounding the ball. Coach Parker, I think, wants Mosai taking the ball out on normal occurrences. So let's see, 13 to 2, down 11 early. Nice look to Bryce Butler, and that should have been a goaltending call as he hit the backboard before the ball even got to the hoop. Not quite sure why that wasn't called. That's clearly a violation. So, an empty possession. Nice passing work underneath. Wadi finding Thompson. That was Cameron that time missing the bucket, but we'll stay with the Trojans at this end. 
Last game of the season, it's fitting that it's a conference game. The Cougars are 6-6 six and six in the conference, having the ability to go up by 100. But their last game brings intensity to this ball club. Good swing of the ball by the Trojans. No look pass in the middle of Wadi. Wadi impressing me with his ability to put the ball on the deck, but loses it that time against Hawkins. Hawkins goes coast to coast. Shati giving him the next two points, four to 13. And the, into the lane, Parker upset. Thought that was a charging call. That's gonna be Damien's second foul. We're not even four minutes into the first quarter. Damien's going to have to come out now as we're going to put Lindsay on the line. As a team, the Trojans shoot an abysmal 56%, but Lindsay knocks the first down. He's a 53% shooter on the season. Their best free throw shooter on the Trojans is Lorenzo Sparks. Sparks, a sophomore at 5'11", misses his second. Cougars get possession. That's something they're going to have to really do well in this game to be successful is rebound. Defensively and offensively, Bryce needs to find Elijah. And when Hawkins got it, he needs to find He was wide open on the block. They're going to get a defensive foul on Cameron Thompson. Lots of things to prove in this game if we can do it. One being that we can hang with the best in our conference who won it last year. Thompson brothers were held in check for the most part. Bryce getting people in the air is gonna get fouled. Can't finish, but we'll go to the free throw line where he is the best free throw shooter for the Cougars. Bryce is 72% free throw shooter. It's tempting to get the record for Clark for the best free throw percentage in a season. He hits the first. That record is held by Joe Davis. Joe had a free throw percentage of 74.5% in the season. Bryce is one of two, and a defensive rebound by Lindsey. Lindsey quickly up the court. Bryce currently holding Six Cougar records has an opportunity to have seven at the end of this, which I most likely will have. That seventh record is the highest point average in a season, and that's 20 points per game held by Zach Gibbs back in the 06 07 season. Bryce currently has 23 points per game as a drive to the hoop is no good. He has a rebound by Hawkins. Hawkins trying to go up, and a clearly blocking foul by Cameron Thompson. That's his second personal on Cameron Thompson. Tamron will probably come out of the game getting replaced by Anthony Mays. Cameron averaging 12 points a game just behind his brother who has 17 points a game. Chaz Bell floater baseline gets the friendly roll. 17-14 your score, 324 left to go in this first quarter. Wide open if he wants to shoot it. Cougars still in that 2-3 zone. Driving in the lane, nice decision by Lindsey, can't convert. Rebound again by Elijah Jones, and good two possessions, rebound the basketball. Up ahead by Bryce Butler. Mersai looking for his dunk, and Mersai Daniel throwing it down with authority on senior night. Chief Mo gets his dunk, and rightly so. He's wanted it, and he got it. Needs to play some defense now. Watch his hands. He's getting a little too anxious. Come down and answers. Sparks. Puts in a bucket. 16-9. Let's see if that energy gives the Cougars some offensive proudness. Hawkins from the elbow. Gets a nice friendly roll. Jazz Bell and Hawkins. Now recipients of the nice friendly rims here on senior night. 16-11, 2.15 to go in this first quarter. It is a full crowd here at 3030 Erie Avenue. Bryce Butler, gosh, you wish he blocked out his man. Kenny Thompson was his man, he got his own rebound. 
he blocked out his own guy, he would have had that rebound. So the Trojans will have a possession. Cougars only have three team fouls. Chargers have four. Look like a held ball, but it looks like a defensive foul will be called, and that's on Hawkins. Hawkins second. So with only 14 fouls, the Cougars find themselves in a little bit of foul trouble because these four fouls have been two apiece on Damian Blythe and on Deshanti Hawkins. The line is Anthony Mays. Mays, a poor free throw shooter at 39%. And you can see why, misses both. Mosai with the defensive rebound. Uh, just a silly mistake by the Cougars getting an over and back call. It felt a little momentum coming with the excitement of the dunk and then the defensive rebounds have been on par so far, the energy almost deflated from the Trojans' side. They're giving the Trojans a reason to gain their momentum back. Down five, 144 to go in this first quarter. The Cougars still in that 2-3 zone. Need to stay aggressive and finish the quarter well. Nice dribbling by Lindsey. Kicks out to Kenny. Kenny behind the back showing his dribbling ability. Sparks for a long three off the mark. Mosai Daniel asserting himself on the boards. And he's playing a very good game. All he needs is the confidence. Hawkins, who has the two fouls, drives, cannot convert on the lay-in. That would have been huge. Three from the corner. Kenny off the mark. Foul for the rebound is in the hands of Brian White. White loses out of the bounds. And it'll stay with the Trojans. Kenny will inbound. A couple screens near the block. A cross screen. Gets it to Mays. As Lindsay will set up near midcourt with Bryce Butler guarding him. It's 2-3 zone. It's almost kind of a, a box and matchup zone here with Bryce following Lindsay around. It's like the Trojans are going to hold the ball up five. No shot clock in high school. They can do that if they want. Let's see if Parker decides to pressure him and get a five-second call and continue to... Well, Chaz, nice hands. And that's an over and back violation. Chaz Bell has shown all season that his quick hands has been an asset on defense for the Cougars in that time. They're going to give Cougars the ball with 21 seconds to go in this first quarter with an opportunity to get closer. At one point in this quarter, the Cougars were down 11. Now only down five with a chance to get it to two or three. Elijah has the ball at the top of the key, rotates it to Bryce. That's someone you have, want to have the ball. Bryce gives it a chance. They have six seconds. They're going to have to figure out what to do. Hawkins, puff fakes, lose the ball. Two seconds now. And a foul. With 0.8 seconds left to go. Chaz picking up his first personal. A combination of fouls team-wise at nine now in the first quarter. Five for the Cougars, four for the Trojans. And quick inbounds and launched by Lindsay. No good. And your first quarter ends on a high note for a little bit of the Cougars. Down only five. 16 11, your score.
Start the second quarter. Cougars down five with possession. A good end of the first quarter. Damian Blythe back in with his two personals, and immediately he goes after Sparks on the low post and gets two points. Cutting it to three now. 16-13. Damian has the height advantage. Sparks only at 5-11. Damian at 6-2. Noah, the sophomore, trying to guard Kenny Thompson. Kenny goes to the hole and converts. His brother Cameron's on the, well, now is in the game. He has two fouls along with Damien and Deshanti. We're going to get a defensive foul on Lorenzo Sparks. Sparks, we have the foul. Again, a matchup that Damien wants to explain. Coach Parker clearly sees where his Cougars can do well at. Officials gain the ear of Sparks for maybe a uh, a jersey issue, he didn't have his shirt tucked in, but maybe it was something different. Anyway, down five. Trojans playing a 2-3 zone now. Good rotation, Bryce Butler, far wing, hits it. 16-18. The score, this is the closest they've been all game. Looks like both teams are setting them down. Damien almost got schooled up top. And Noah Mason fouling Kenny Thompson, making the three. Kenny Thompson out of the two Thompson brothers had the best game last time we met with 14 points. Lindsay was right behind him with 10. Brother Cameron had six points last time. Now Kenny goes to the line, try to convert the four point play and he does. Up ahead quickly. 21-16, now your score, that four points really hurts. The Cougars in their efforts to get back in. Bryce has hit a big three to cut it within two. And now it's a six point lead. Nice look for Mosai in. Pump fake. Gets close to the rim, but he just, those floaters inside the paint are not falling for Mosai. Not sure who gets the ball. Look at, officials look at each other and they decide the Cougars will have possession. Hand on the ball. Knocked out of bounds. 6-16 to play this first half. Hawkins now inbounding the ball. We heard Coach Parker wanting Mosai to handle it on the inbounds plays. Seems content Hawkins handling it. Noah driving baseline is going to get double team. Looks for Bryce. Bryce near wing this time. Hits it. Two threes in a row for Butler. Two for two from three-point land, and that's really needed for them to stay close with the Trojans. <laughs> Lindsay in the lane, blocked by the Cougars. Noah Mason elevating. Lindsay, just a stout athlete, chiseled running back for the Trojans as Sparks enters the lane. Floater no good. Rebound and then stripped. Sparks getting waddy now. He puff faked and traveled. If he just went with his first move, he didn't have to go back and do the under. But he did, and in that process, shuffled his feet. So down three, 1922 your score, 534 in this second quarter. Hawkins bringing the ball up. Still in that 2-3 zone. Nice job looking inside. Damian Blythe to the free throw line. Floater, no good. Back iron. No one rebounding. Damian finally gets a hand on it. Well picked up by Cameron. <laughs> Kenny was thinking about that corner three. And he hits that three, almost hits that three from the near wing. He's been automatic tonight. Almost gave him the points. 
Senior Chaz Bell coming in the ball game for Hawkins. Hawkins closing his right eye. I don't know if he got poked in it or not, but he heads to the bench. Says he's okay from the question of Doug Dewey, the assistant coach for the Cougars. Five minutes remaining. Three from the wing, airballed. Damian Blythe holds on to it, wants to give it to Bryce, finally just hands it off like a quarterback. Damian, a good football player himself. Noah from the far corner misses. Ooh, Damian had the rebound, but poked away by Sparks. Parks now in transition, hits the bucket. Looks like he was fouled, Damian was, when he got that rebound. Regardless, Cougars now down five, 4.30 to play. Chaz Bell, corner. Misses, and Damien's going to get his third personal by pushing off underneath the bucket. Elijah quickly coming into the game for Damien. Jones listed at 6'4", but I think he's more like 6'6". Six, six. Closer to the high of the Mosai. And we just hit the bonus. So... Wadi will go to the line shooting a one-on-one -on -one opportunity. Wadi's a 42% free throw shooter. Not many attempts on the season, only 19. Made eight of them, ball rolls out. And Elijah quickly shows his presence by getting that defensive rebound. Elijah now on the offensive end, trying to find Mosai. Mosai, nice job getting the ball. This was loose, Bryce, a lot of traffic. Off the mark, loose ball, picked up by the Trojans, going the other way quickly. Three, near wing, off the mark, picked up by Bryce. Bryce, trying to go coast to coast, gets stripped, or loses the ball, couldn't decide which one. Goes off the Trojans. Five point deficit, just under four minutes to play in this first half. Bryce on the ball, a good defense by Sparks. Sophomore showing his aggressiveness on the defensive end. Trojans still in that 2-3 zone. Poor cross-court pass by Noah. That's a sophomore mistake by Noah. And then Chaz is going to end up with a personal foul. He's going to send Tyrell Packer to the free throw line. Packer, a 34% free throw shooter. And that is not because of his lack of attempts. Packer has 38 attempts on the season. He's only made 13 of them. Only one Trojan on the blocks for the rebound attempt. It's kind of bizarre how bad the free throw shooting is for North College Hill. Now we have an Sparks and Kenny on the blocks. And another official telling a Cougar this time of the uniform. Before it was Sparks, now it's Chaz Bell getting the words from the official. And I think Darnell wants an explanation of what he was trying to tell him. I'm not sure if he understood that it was a uniform issue. He thought it was probably something else. But regardless, Packer is going to shoot his second. Free throw attempt after. <laughs> Each official now has to tell him a story. <laughs> and Packer hits the second, so two for two. Showing us that his free throw percentage should be higher on this season. 26-19 score. Like to see the Cougars show some offensive aggressiveness here at the end of this half. Down seven. 13-15 to go. Hawkins leading the point. Probably should have just drove it himself. Gets stuck now, picking up his dribble. There's an opening there. Bounce pass, Hawkins is double teamed. Throws it over his head, behind the back. Bryce loses it, picked up by Lindsey. 
And then Mosai looks like he's going to get called for a block on the far sideline. You're going to put Lindsay on the line. That's a ninth team foul. And Lindsay shooting at 53%. Still in the one and one opportunity after this will be the double bonus, however. Lindsay hits the front end, makes it an eight point game. It's a front rim, <laughs> loose ball. Elijah had that ball, unfortunately he couldn't corral it. Tip ball, Lindsay driving. Baseline gets a roll and a 10 point game now. Important possession for the Cougars with 2.38 to go. They cannot get it past double digits if they want to try to stay in this game. The result of the last game was a 24 point defeat. They cannot let this get out of hand. Chaz Bell thought about it. Elijah Jones inside. There's a good response. Elijah Jones doing well with his composure. And we're going to get a timeout by Darnell Parker. Full timeout with 2.16 left to go. Down eight. Okay, after the timeout, 2.16 on the clock in this first half. North College Hill with the basketball. Let's see how the defense responds. Really spreading it out, North College Hill is. Looks like now going to man defense, the Cougars are. Thompson driving, loses the ball. Nice hands by the defense, Bryce Butler. Again, ball control for Bryce tonight has been an issue. Chaz doing a nice job getting that double team. Getting the ball out to Hawkins. Bryce Butler for three. No good, Elijah Jones fighting for the ball. Get on the floor, Elijah, he does, but doesn't end up with the ball. Kenny Thompson doing his nice steps, misses the layup. Lots of Trojans underneath, and it's going to be an easy call on Elijah Jones fouling Lorenzo Sparks. Sparks going to the line, having the best free throw percentage on the season, 76%. He's a good free throw shooter, making 49 of 64. Parker telling Elijah a really good be more aggressive and get on the floor and get the ball. Not sure if he thinks it was lazadaisical or if he just thinks that the potential, I'm sure he thinks the potential is still there for Elijah. Elijah really does have a lot of good attributes about him as an athlete. So he, Sparks makes both. Back to a 10 point lead, 124 to go. Tipped away, now Trojans ball. That was an important defensive possession for the Trojans, and they got the ball back and ready to score. Nice move, 
around the basket by Packer. 12 point advantage now, 106 to play. Bryce driving. Will be on the floor, so they'll inbound it. No Mason coming into the game. For Elijah, 104 to go. One minute remaining in this first half. Near the free throw, nice pass, and foul! Points of the pounding, most side Daniel. Huge bucket for Mosai. We're gonna have a substitution. Cameron Thompson coming in for Anthony Mays. A little offensive defense substitution as Mosai go the stripe where he's shooting 59%. Big free throws in this game and Mosai hits it. A successful team is a good free throw shooting team. And now let's see if the Trojans Play a little four corners like they did in the first quarter and just eat away this clock. Last time they did that, Chaz, like he is now, challenging Cameron with the ball. He got a steal last time. Let's see if he could do the same. Throwing it back and forth between Sparks and Cameron. 20 seconds now. Hawkins and Sparks. Five second call. Hawkins doing a nice defensive job on Sparks. So just like last time, we're gonna have an opportunity at the end of the quarter to get an offensive bucket to cut the lead. We've got the turnover. The first quarter, let's see if it's more promising this time. We're gonna have a substitution of Alonzo Corbin. Entering the game for Chaz Bell. Lonzo a sophomore as well. As Noah Mason is, and both sophomores are on the court right now. Bryce, Hawkins, and Mosai joining them. Got eight seconds left. Five seconds, Bryce needs to do something. And it's going to get a defensive call with 2.7 seconds. It's going to send Bryce to the free throw line shooting a one-on-one. -on -one. It's a bad foul by the Trojans putting their best free throw shooter on the line. Bryce one and one on the night so far. Gosh, misses the front end. And that'll end the quarter. Bryce clearly upset with himself. It was an opportunity to really cut that lead to eight or seven, but that'll be halftime here. We'll see you on the other side. <laughs> 